What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm kind of going over the pickups and stuff that I got recently. But really quick, I think I showed you guys I did this to an anti-social social club tee. Let me fucking turn it inside out. Pull it out of the wash. This is a Uniqlo cause tee in pink and I just wasn't wearing it a lot so I kind of bleach dyed it. Now it's got this really cool fucking effect which I just fucking love it looks so so nice uh but i'm just gonna get rid of that now but i kind of wanted to just show off everything that i've gotten all the clothing and shit and i was gonna do kind of a style guide but it's just so hard now because i have a new job that works five days a week so i really don't have time to put that uh the style guide together if i if, if maybe maybe if you guys really want it and i see it, some comments about it i will really try and put together a style guide for the clothing and shoes that I have but things have just kind of been all over the place lately and the first thing I kind of oh shit everything's right out of frame really quick or right off just a, a bit too far away for me to be able to reach everything comfortably where the fuck is that there all right all right so the first thing I have that I got which isn't too expensive or anything is just this thrasher tee which is like godzilla print kind of and i thought it looked really cool i just kind of wanted to show it off quick this is simple it goes with so much and it's just black red and white uh it's great they're only like 25 bucks they go with so much and then i mean i want to show let me make sure i have all these together one two three wait where's the other all right here they are these are minimal and by that I mean the brand Minimal. Uh, these are all their t-shirts and stuff that I decided to get. Now, this one and this one, this black and white tee, these are actually inside out tees. So all the like uh, stitching is on the outside. So it's supposed to look inside out. I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was a little bit different. You can really see it on the white tee and I really like it. It's a nice little design feature that I will be uh, rocking a lot since I'm not too good at dressing. So just a pure black, pure white tee is good. Another thing that I got, because this one was on sale and I thought, eh, why the fuck not, is this silver dyed long sleeve tee. I, I thought it was just going to be gray, but it's kind of got this almost metallic effect to it. I don't know if you guys can fucking tell, but like as you guys can kind of see along the seams it's kind of like still white which uh i do have an outfit for this that i will be doing soon when something comes into the mail and then this one's just a fucking white tee that i wanted to see if their tees were any good and they are minimal makes very good quality tees uh 20 bucks and with free shipping it's just a 20 dollar shirt so you know free shipping is kind of fucking worth it now um oh let me show this off because I just got this on its own. It's just a purple and teal Nike SB shirt. I got this for the upcoming grapes that are coming out. The Grape Fives. I really want them. They're the alternate grapes. If you guys have seen them, they look fucking awesome. This will go well with them. And I think this was on sale, which is why I picked it up. Not entirely. I don't entirely remember. I was kind of just buying stuff. Because I was freaking out. And I was like, oh, it's the end of the fucking world. Might as well. Wait. Let me grab this one individually. This here is the Born and Raised Unbreak My Heart Tee in the Dusty Rose colorway. And I think this is fucking amazing. This is one of my favorite shirts. They also had this in a green where the writing was white and I was like trying to get that. Did not have it in my size, sadly. But this is definitely not a bad thing to have. It looks fucking amazing. I cannot wait to be wearing this. I haven't gotten a chance because I've been at work most of the time. But let me get to my favorite two pickups. These things I love. And I'm going to be absolutely getting some good picks in these for Instagram. And that is the Chinatown Market Chanel and Born Again Christian Dior shirt. And these things look beautiful. I love the yellow. It's kind of this orangish yellow. So it's not that bright yellow that they usually do for their tees, which is good because 
That's a bit too loud for the outfits I want. This is very nice. I love the Born Again Christian Dior. I might take this in outside of a church. That would be cool. And then this one, just the Chanel logo. It looks nice. You can tell it's not authentic, but it's the official bootleg Chinatown market. These are both a large because a bit chunkier. And even if I lose the weight that I'm trying to lose, I still want these to kind of have that like flowy bit bit too big fit not like fucking swimming but you know what i mean but let me get on to the last things that i got because those are all the t-shirts wait there is before i get on to the last thing i bought this belt from minimal and i don't really ever wear belts but this thing was ten dollars it is a roller coaster belt so you just snap those two things and then it's just easy it's like really simple like i love this thing this is fucking easy uh i've seen a, a couple people on instagram doing this thing in tech wear where they like kind of use it as a body strap so they kind of do it like this i think the most popular one is a leaks but that's like do i have this on fucked up yeah i do i fuck shit up and then they do it like this but i think the most expensive one is a leaks which is like fucking 375 i've seen them and I don't want to pay that for just a belt. So a $10 belt that works just the same. Same exact style as the expensive ones. No problem. Good quality. Like I was afraid for $10 it was going to be a piece of shit. And then. But it's not. It's fucking awesome. Minimal makes great products. And this. Alright you guys. What's up? Uh, this is going to be inserted into the video. Just kind of. I don't know where yet. But. I just got these in today. These are hyper denims, denim pants. They are black. I literally just put these on. Let me tell you just from the initial point, these are awesome. They are pretty slim fit like these. Uh, unlike minimal, this has a zipper fly instead of a button fly, which is great. They have an elastic draw cord, so you don't need a belt. And then at the bottom, look at that. The bottom has this uh, really nice look to it, so it looks like a... Someone used your pants for like a cum rag and now it's got cum stains on it, which looks awesome. Got that like fucking kind of like someone's got a foot fetish for you and you didn't clean up afterwards. Uh, it's great. I love these. These are pretty good price. I think they're right now. Everything's on sale with them. I don't know for how long this is going to last, but I'm definitely getting more hyper denim pants. And uh, thank you. I will insert this somewhere randomly. This Let's move on to the last things I got from Minimal. Uh, these are all from Minimal. Uh, it is pants. These are corduroy cargo pants. And my God, these things are fucking amazing. I love them. But I will have to say that when I got these ones, th this is not a common problem I've known. But like this button was not like fastened on and it just fell the fuck off. I used some pliers to fix it. I messaged Minimal about it and they gave me a code for next time I buy something. So thank you to Minimal. Not sponsored. I wish I was so that way I could fucking like get some more stuff. So now it's just a regular button. It works fine. A bit, a bit of a thing, but you know, these pants are amazing. So I might just get another pair of these pants. I love these. Like, and the corduroy, it's very cozy. These are going to come in handy during the winter when the winter comes back around. And I didn't just get them in green. I got them in this beautiful black color. So that way they are a bit more wearable. I love these. No problems with the snaps on these. The snaps are just fine. Uh, I do want to point out that these have pockets right here with flaps. And then they have pockets right behind it. You got pockets right here on the leg. And then you got pockets on the back, I think. Do you have two? You do have two. So, like, these cargo pants are awesome. They're great. I love the black. Black looks great. Uh, this is the one that I've been wearing the most. And then I got one more cargo. My favorite. Favorite cargo, because I'm going to be able to wear this one all year round. It is just the green army cargo. Like, it's got the flaps and everything. This one has flaps on the back pockets. It's got the yellow draw cord like the others, which it's fine. 
Uh, this also has snaps on the bottom. The thing that I will give minimal about their cargos that I love, they are short guy friendly. So even though I'm only 5'7", five, 5'6", five, sometimes, only sometimes I am 5'6", very rarely am I 5'6", mostly 5'7". The, these things fit like a dream. They do not bunch up around the fucking legs. They are great. And like, that that's something that means a lot to me because, you know, fucking as a short guy, it sucks. But they do not get any forgiveness from their fucking jeans. I got two jeans. I was trying to get another pair, but they sold out. They were sold out, and they haven't restocked yet. This one is the hardest to wear. These are the fucking skeleton jeans. I thought these were going to be white. They're kind of a cream color, as you guys can... The camera's picking me up pretty well. They go all the way down, and these things fucking bunch up, so I got to roll them. And then the knee, this right here, does not meet at my knee. It goes a bit past it. it. It's not the greatest. And I do have some pick ideas for this, some pictures. This would go real well with the fucking uh, Blazers iron box. I don't know which one of these is coming out first. But these things are awesome. I love them still. And honestly, these are going to come in handy around fucking October. I will be rocking these all day, every, all day, every day in October. But till then... Kind of gonna have to just wear them for some fit picks. And then the last thing. This is something that is fucking underrated. It is currently on sale for $40. The minimal green and yellow denim. Like this thing goes with a lot. Y'all want, you, like you see this, you're thinking, man, this is not gonna go with much. But man, it does. It goes perfect with some outfits. Honestly, I might walk it with a Chanel or the uh, Christian Dior shirt. I got some yellow and green shoes that I can rock with these. These things, I, I like, it's not too fucking loud of a yellow and green, which is the nice thing. It's kind of like a fucking alien cum stain. More like, if that makes sense, like some aliens got onto this and had like a bukkake party, as someone like the Star Life might say. So check him out too. He's the guy that really uh, has gotten me into dressing better because otherwise I dress like a fucking idiot all the time but like he he's in uh Jacob Star the Star Life has really inspired me to dress better so shout out to him I've been trying to dress better these fucking things are awesome and I definitely want more minimal denim uh they have a lot of good stuff that hasn't even fucking released yet I'm like watching it like a hawk keeping some money in my pocket for when that happens Please, please, Minimal, drop your shit already. And I, as you guys saw, I had the two Chinatown Market tees. I have like five more things from Chinatown Market coming in that I cannot wait to get. I need more stuff from Bro uh, Born and Raised. That Unbreak My Heart tee is beautiful. I might get another. I wish I could get the green color. I can't. Uh, the Dusty, Pe Dusty Rose colorway is great, but... Honestly, I'm probably not gonna wear it too much. But like I like you really gotta up your fucking closet game. I really have been because I, I really need to. I, I I don't have too much. I have a lot of t shirts that need better pants. Uh I have some shorts coming too. But that was kind of just a pickup video for what I got over quarantine. That isn't everything. I have something coming in tomorrow, so I might cut that in. So if that happens this will be a fucking 15 minute long video. Good for me. Uh, but thank you guys for watching this. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Please, y'all. Please comment. Please. I need you guys to comment. That's where I like, it'll alert me when you guys comment every time. All right, so please do that. Let me know you guys are watching this shit by commenting. Please, please, please let me know if I'm doing good or making just garbage every time. And thank you guys for watching these videos. Thank you all so much, and please, please, please have a wonderful, wonderful day.